up, you Bitch Boy Pop Class. We are back with another video. We are currently still here in Daytona Beach, Florida. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do y'all the best. Follow me on Instagram at Poppin' Clutches. Press your wood lights, your merch, everything down below in the links in the description. I just dropped new hats and t-shirts. You gotta go purchase them right now, y'all. But in my background, I have two. SUVs. I got a Denali and I got a Tahoe. They both are bagged. I'm about to have them talk about their bills. These things are super nice. I don't know, y'all. I said I wasn't going to bag my Yukon, but we're going to see. We're going to see. Let's see what they got going on over here. So. What's going on, guys? Gabe Kurtz here. You guys follow me on Instagram at Gabe underscore Kurtz. Part of Kurtz Custom Fab here. Right here we got 2010 Yukon Denali. Max track, 7 to 9, set at 10 and a half here. All powder coat illusion, green ice. KSP upper control arms, custom time tie rod ends. 26 by 16 HD Pro Forge on 36 Versa tires. You got full built custom headlights, halo rings inside, projector lenses, halo fog lights, all color match black. Look on the inside, bro. Hexagon inside with green back. That's crazy. We got a full 1800p starlight in there. I mean, it's not on right now, but 10 and a half inch bags travel from three to 13 in the rear. Full custom four link, cut all the factory stuff out, strip the axle bare, full colored powder on the axle, all illusion green ice. Who customized your bag setup? So that's built by myself, Kurt's Custom Fab. Built all the custom fabrication, everything on that axle, and everything underneath the rear end was all me and on the front end. How much would it cost for somebody to come to you and get this same exact setup you want with the bags? So same exact as me, I mean, you're talking somewhere in the range of $7,500 with mm -hmm. powder and everything. I mean, it's a lot of fab time. It's at least three weeks fab time, plus powder coat behind that. So you're talking about a month, month and a half plus to get all that fab. If you're going kind of factory, a little bit less than that, probably talking about the 4500 to 5K mark, depending on powder and stuff like that. I mean, adding powder is going to add more to it, but 4500 fab roughly just for factory for Lincoln putting bags in. I got dual compressor set up, a five gallon tank, uh, compressors that are 100% duty cycle. Everything's on hard lines, so it's all super reliable and not have any issues with it. You got the aftermarket caddy tails here, just makes it pop out better. Do you plan on getting color matching? You gonna color match mirrors or? Um, yeah, eventually coming online. There's a lot of color matching stuff, but you know, I just finished my full bag set up in the rear, so it takes a little bit. The way his bags move and how I can go side to side and it just, it's, it's done well. Yeah. He's actually about to raise it up for y'all to see. The rear axle is powder coated. His rotor is powder coated like this thing. Oh my God, bro. I literally felt all that air on my leg. Yeah, so it pops up pretty quick. That's a half What in the world? It's one of the largest airlines you can run on a truck. So it's big and beefy and it can, allows it to go up that tall. So we got a dual compressor set up um, towards the rear there, a five gallon air tank. And then we also have half inch lines, half inch relays, all hard line. So it gives you that reliability and durability. So the axle there is all rebuilt, all grade A hardware, pan hard, four link. Everything's on Himes, double adjustable. So you can put it exactly where you want to and get it set up exactly where you want it. Make it drop just how it was and come all the way up right where it is. Also got 24 rock lights under there and mm -hmm. some LED strips, kind of keep everything lit up so you can see what's going on underneath yeah. there. It makes it look sweet. We got an 18-piece starlight all going all the way back with a shooting star. A lot of time there. It left the factory color. I think the black with the tan trim doesn't really match as well, even though it has black interior. Mostly factory interior, except for this right here. These are my bag switches. So we got individual ups and downs and equalizer across the bag so it rides evenly and level. So, mm. Yeah, so this is all custom. This is whole new center console. All the switches mounted and it has a single line run all the way back for all my relays, all the valves, everything. Yeah. So, so looks, how did you hide the wires? Like if you pick this up, is the wire still hidden? So you have, I put in a box here, hide oh, it and it has yeah. one single wire. So that's all the switches going down. Mm. So it just pretty much hides everything. So you mm. can't, I mean, it looks basically factory. Yeah. So let me see the view if you were to drop it right now. Let me see how it looks. Can we drop it down? Yeah. All right. Oh my God. So we're about an inch off the tire right now. How bad does it ride if you were to drive it right now, like so with no air? The bags have internal bump stops in them. So when I'm air out like this, we're all basically on a bump stop. Mm -hmm. So it's framed to axle. Yeah. So you hit a bump and you're gonna be jumping. Yeah, like bad. Yeah, but now like- say if, you just raise it up like two pumps, like two, two, two. How would it drive then? It would drive better because now the bag has air in it so it can compress. When you're aired up, it's the same thing. You have, it, it's full of air. Like it can't compress anymore. But once right in the middle, you have that cushion. Mm -hmm. The bag can flex and expand and move how it needs to. So it gives it a lot more, uh, better ride quality to say than better than being on coils. Have you popped any bags so far yet? I have not. Mine slightly rubs on the frame, but the bags are set up like a tire. They have steel belts inside of them. So yeah. it's really, really hard to pop a bag. I mean, it takes a lot of wear and tear and like a sharp edge to wear through it. And how long have this been bagged? It's been bagged for probably about three weeks now. Three weeks? I mean, yeah, it, it's a pretty new setup. I've been rushing to kind of get it done so I can yeah. get to some of these shows here this summer. And so far you love the way. Oh yeah, I love the way it rides. I mean, yeah. it rides super straight too. I mean, with the front conversion and the Himes and everything. I mean, it has a really nice wire, ride quality going on the highway yeah. and stuff. 
stuff. I can cruise 75 all day. There y'all have it. This is the Yukon. And right after the Yukon, we have this Tahoe right here that is bagged as well. He's going to talk about everything you can see. It's on Forgy Autos, and I can't wait for him to explain what he got going on. This is one video with two trucks, so let's get right into it. My guy Gabe then went ahead and did this truck as well, this Tahoe. So we're about to get Jake over here, and he's going to explain what he got done to his Tahoe. Like I said, Gabe did do the bags, and uh, you're going to see the difference between these two. guys my name is Jake uh, 407 Jake two E's is my Instagram my 2007 Chevy Tahoe let me tell you what I got done to it new front bumper new clears original hood original paint golly I didn't know this paint had flake in it like that it's original like that yeah that's nice a max track set it the same as Gabe's like a ten and a half done by Kurt's custom fab uh, I got 26 by 14 4 G's on 37 amps as you can see right here on his max track you can see he actually went with the neon yellow with the flake in it and then you see there's some color matching right here with the blue and this one got flake in it as well two-tone color powder with the max track how did max track drive it rides great right great I've, I've, no problems with it it's been great i've had a few minor alignment problems and upper ball joint problems from my ignorance but other than that max track's been solid i got uh quadros in there i got some rock lights up under 36 watt rock lights up under each i got the rears bagged kurt's custom fab did the bagging Unlike this one, mine's not custom four link. It's the stock bag. It's the stock four link with uh, 11 inch travel bags. But the difference that a bag set up in these two trucks is that you can see this is all the way aired out, and this is very, very, very close to the tire. Whereas though with this one, you got a lot more room. So that's why this one is like this one right here is fab before to drop more, and this one still has the factory setup. So they just added the bags. And for the interior, I got a 1200 piece Starlight kit, a bunch of lighting switches, a solid PA. My DSPs mounted here for all the audio in the back. I got an iPad dash on a flip switch mount so I can still see when I reverse with a Pioneer double den in there. The, I got some audio in the back. I did the captain seat swap because it's a 2007 so it comes with a bench seat. Factory leather but back here I got rid of the third row and added the stunt wall and a 15 inch subwoofer back there. It's three Timpano 12s with four 3200 Timpano horns. I'll upgrade it on the front and backs. These are the Timpano Pros. They were rebuilt to be not just mid-bass but full volume speakers and then I got a Def Bounce, Def Bounce 15 in the back. I have a 1200 sound digital for these, I have a 3K for these, and I have a 5K for the sub. I got three batteries and an upgraded alternator to power all of it. I can't play the full song because I will get copyrighted. I'm going to play y'all little snippets. So I can hear a stunt wall. You can see right here. What is, what's your, what's your wall set up? In the next strand, better than the next strand. She head down, booty really popping good. in the handstand. Shine bright on the man, if she ever throw it, I Golly, that one going fast too. It's 11 inch travel bags, like I said earlier. I got my blow off valves on the side to scare the shit out of people. Yeah, it just scared me. This one just scared me as y'all just saw. Unlike his, I have a powder coated, I don't have a powder coated axle. I, I maintain, it's a, my daily driver, so I have my sway bar links and my and the Max Track shocks still in there from the lift kit. The bags just replace my coil spring, pretty much. That's all it does. You guys saw what it was down, what it sits like down, so I can still drive with it all the way aired out. I don't know, man. Y'all calm down with low. Should I put bags on mine? Yes. <laughs> you said yes? Yes. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you agree? Yeah. Alright, so tell me what you did to this one right here. Kind of set up like mine. Most of the trucks I build, dual compressor setup with a five gallon tank, nine ports. Gives us like the kind of range of motion that we want up quick, down, and all that. What we did here, these are little different bags. These are called triple bellows. They, you can get them pretty much anywhere. I have SS8s, so they're made a little thicker, a little more durable, um, go up a little quicker in my opinion. This, we retained a lot of factory, a lot of factory um, stuff on here. So this has the same factory four link. It changes the angles a lot. It allows the axle to move forward a lot more than what it's supposed to. And then what we did is factory exhaust. Um, I did a custom exhaust, just comes back halfway. Doesn't interfere with anything. These have lifted shocks on them because he's not as slammed out as I am. With how slammed I am, I have to do some kind of custom shocks is what I've been doing to make stuff work together. And then we retain the sway bar. So he can't lean side to side as much, but it still gives it that nice factory ride with all the way up and not having to do a lift kit. Yeah, that's cool right there. So y'all can either get this set up or you can get that set up. But to get either set up, you gotta reach out to Gabe because Gabe can get you yep. right. Now Gabe, I wanna see you actually let it up and lean it to the side as you was doing yesterday at the show. Golly. Lay it on its that is amazing, bro. You can tell a little more from the front. The back doesn't give it as much show, but it's leaning on the side, y'all. Yeah. You can see right here, it's leaning this way while the other side is still up. 
That's crazy. You never thought about actually fabricating where it's bagged all the way around? Oh, no, it's in the works. Oh, so you want to do something yeah, like that? Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of fab time. And it's, it, it's a lot of cash. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it, it comes out. I mean, powder alone, you're going to have at least 2K yeah. doing a front end. I mean, I had to replicate what I did in the front or in the rear in the front, but with a whole different axle. This, at least I used the factory axle, so it all worked together roughly, and it was already four lengths, so I'd have to do as much fab. The front, basically from scratch. He's actually about to let me drive this thing, so I'm about to get Drift to hold the camera and I'm gonna drive it. I never drove the fully bagged Yukon. I wanna see how it is, like how I drive, aired out and aired up. Just so I get the feel of it, if I wanna do it or not. I don't know nothing about these switches, but he's gonna explain what's done to it. It's I fun. wanna hear somebody say that, like, oh, that's gay, squat truck, such, such, such. What they say about squatter trucks? Why squat it? And then you just drive and hit the switch. They be like, oh. Yeah. I regret what I said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so before I pull off, what do I do? I just hit both of them up. So I would hit the equalizer switch and it'll equal the pressure. So you can okay. hit it now. Hit it this way, right? Yep. So now the bag pressure is equal. And then to go all the way up, I'd hit both ups. Bro. Hit both. There we bro. go. <laughs> yeah. Dope, bro. I'm not going to lie. I think I want to do this. Oh my God. I think I want to do this. This is dope. So do you have full lock with this lift kit? I do not. So okay. it has roughly about one turn rotation of steering. Okay. Because they are on a little wider wheels than I, I don't I don't like cutting bumpers personally. Yeah. I like keeping as much factory as possible. So Am I allowed to drop it right now if I wanted to? Yeah, so just hit hit but just hold both. Is downs. it a certain amount of speed, like how fast you gotta go to do it or no, you can do it anytime. I mean I'll go driving the highway and I'll air it out. How fast can you drive on the highway and do it? I do about 75. Like you can drop bags going 75 miles per hour just yeah, driving? Yeah, well, you're not messing with the front steering. Now, if it was front straight axle, the steering wheel's going to turn because of the linkage. But since the front end's completely can static. We get his, let's get his reaction. Look, look. Let's just get his reaction. He's staring already. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I love this. I love it. I don't know. I said I hated bags forever, but I don't know. We got to do this right here. Bro, I would do, like, a whole video of just just going somewhere that people really hate squatter trucks. I'll go to, bro, I will, I'll go to like a show where it's just straight SEMA trucks and yeah. just piss them off because yeah. just the bag set up. A lot of people say when you actually let all the air out, it slams bad. Yes, but right you. now, it's cool. It still feel like I'm driving normal. It's not that, that bounce. I guess when you pick up speed, hit like hard bumps, it may do it. Yeah, when you pick up speed. Okay, now I feel it. I felt yeah. that bump right there. So I'm gonna bump it up to right there. It's not bad. Yeah. Ride's pretty good, I mean. You're on basically air ride. A lot of you North Carolina and South Carolina boys, I see they banned it, and Virginia, they banned it. You better invest in something like this, cause who wouldn't want to pull up to a stop I didn't do that? I regret everything I said about bags. 75 miles per hour, you can just. Then you can just air it out, yep. This is amazing. I would literally play with the switches all day just to play with people, mess with people. I like that. All right, guys, just end this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to try the best. Follow me on Instagram at Papa Cuts. Make sure you follow these guys on Instagram as well. Like he said, if you want his bag set up, you reach out to Gabe. He can't get it done. He'll fab it up for you. And you can be bagged just like these two trucks right here. I know a lot of you guys up north are going to need this setup right here if you want to stay squatted. If you don't, see, do what you're doing. Just don't get put over by the police. But he can't help you out in the situation. I know I'm going to do it for sure because I really like the idea of doing this. I'm not going to lie. Buy our t shirts, our merch, the wall lights, your rock lights. All the links down below. And I'll catch you on the next video. Add it up, add it up, bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso.